Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to this Bitcoin price update and to our weekly $10 worth of Bitcoin subscription video. So every Monday we're gonna do this price update and also this subscription video which is sponsored by BitYard. So thank you very much for all the stuff over there. Thank you for the support and also for sponsoring this uh, giveaway. So over on BitYard, we can trade with uh, Tether all the cryptos that you want. So if you're interested in also trading with Tether, you can go long or short and you find the link down below here in the video description. If you want to sign up to that exchange and also if you have some Tether on the sideline, feel free to join this exchange. You can get a lot of bonus and here you can go long, you can go short with Tether. So now, for example, we are having this big dump here on Bitcoin. We just have seen this uh, like an hour ago and we have to see what is going on right now here because uh, we had overnight, at least here in European time, the breakout from $11,800. We came up here to $11,800 up to $12,000. And as you can see, currently we are having this dump towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band that you can see in the one hour and also in the four hour time frame. So was this just a fake out or are we seeing just a dump and pump formation here and we're gonna see continuation to the upside? This is now the big question. If you are following my channel, then you would have known since this morning that we had here a sell signal in the one hour time frame and that most likely we're gonna have to retest this area down below here and this maybe is then the good long opportunity if you want to trade this. So currently we have seen now this correction. It is possible that we are seeing still some continuation of this dump. So if you shorted it, then congratulations. Right now you are in profits. But if you're still waiting to swap it over into a long position or to open up new shorts, then maybe wait for a couple of hours. We are still on our way here for consolidation and to decide if we're coming back up here or if we are getting completely rejected here at 12K and we're gonna have a major correction down towards uh, 10K. Jim Devera, nice to see you here in the live stream. Welcome, welcome. Don't forget, subscribe here on Twitch and also over on YouTube. I know you are a follower of me and also don't forget to put your comment and Bitcoin address in the YouTube video that is coming up later. So the replay of this live stream will be on YouTube and that one is going to be relevant for the $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway that we're going to select the winner at the end of the week and uh, not today. All right. So we have now here in the one hour time frame here this dump towards the bottom and currently we're closing hourly candles below 11,800, which is a bearish sign in the one hour. But as I told you, this uh, one hour time frames or even four hours, so these lower time frames, uh, sometimes when we see breakouts like this, they are very short lived. So I'm still very bullish on Bitcoin, but if we continue here to close one hour and four hour candles uh, below the 20 moving average and also below $11,800, this could have been a fake out. But currently, um, I think it's still too early to say, so we still have to wait and we need more data here to decide if right now we can go long or not. But because since we even broke below the 20 moving average in the one hour and also below the previous resistance, which now should have been new support, I'm not anymore pretty convinced that we're gonna shoot straight back up again, but it is still possible. We have to keep an eye here in the four hour time frame. So if we go over from the one hour into the four hour time frame, you can see that currently we are closing these four hour candles above the midline of the Bollinger Band, which is bullish, but we also should start to close four hour candles above the previous uh, resistance here at $11,800. We also have the RSI currently still above the 50, so everything is still okay. If you catched here a long uh, between here $11,500 and $11,700, then maybe put a stop loss a bit below $11,700 just to be sure that we don't gonna continue to crash here. But currently it looks like that we could see another leg back up to retest here this 12K and $11,800 pretty soon. So here in the four hour time frame, everything is still okay, even though the dump was quite hard. I didn't expect to drop that 
low but it happened now and we have to see what's coming up next and um, also you can see that here uh, in the four hour currently there is a high chance that I'm getting here a sell signal in my indicator but uh, this needs to be confirmed so we have to close this four hour candle which we are starting right now uh, below the 20 moving average so below 11,730 in order to go lower if during the next four hours we're going to stay and close above 11,730 then we should be good to go to the upside and if you want to see these uh, signals then you have to subscribe here on Twitch and also on YouTube because I show this daily and also if you have Discord you can join my Discord trading chat the chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome so if you took out profits or if you have some tether on the sideline you can trade here on bityard if you think the markets is going up again then you can go long here even if you took out profits in tether but if you think that we're going down you can take out profits in tether and even go short here so you can even multiply your tether so currently we're still waiting here what the price is doing i think the next couple of hours will be very relevant and if we have a look here into the daily you can see that this dump currently you don't even see it in here in the daily time frame because here we still have a lot of room left to the upside the the top here of the bollinger band is at 12650 which is very likely to be reached if we're gonna see continuation here from this twelve thousand uh, dollar pump and also we have the rsi still very overbought so here it is possible that we could correct even down towards eleven thousand the midline here of the bollinger band so I would say let's uh, be patient and wait for the next couple of hours what will happen. I think the next four hour close uh, will be uh, decision time if we are able to push through again 12k and higher or if we're getting rejected here. So if you also want to see what my signal is, what my indicator is telling here in the next couple of hours, then make sure to subscribe to the channel on Twitch and here on YouTube as well. So, all right, guys, with that said, I'm going to wrap it up this small Bitcoin price update. Don't forget, if you want to trade with Tether over on BTR, you find the sign up link down below here in the video description. And here you can get up to $258 in bonus. You can uh, trade here and get a lot of bony if uh, you surpass a certain amount of trading volume. So the biggest one here is 1 million trading volume and you will get 188 uh, Tether into your account. And if you put at least a first deposit of 0 0.5 Bitcoin, you will get an additional $50 Tether and you can start immediately to trade or withdraw that money, of course. And if you tune in every day here on BTArt, you will get um, this uh, uh, tether that you can claim every day. It's a small amount, but every day when you tune in here, you can click here on mining where it says daily mining and immediately you can get a couple of tether here, which you can use for trade or withdraw, for example. All right, guys. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up for now. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, put your comment and your Bitcoin address down below here in the in the comment section of the YouTube video. We're going to select randomly the winner at the end of the week and we're going to do this giveaway every week. So make sure to subscribe here to the channel. Thank you very much for your support, my friends. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.